Hollywood dropped about 20 trailers this week. They picked the right week because it was my first one. Now we're going to rank them. Here we go. All right, Mark Perry, yeah. Hollywood dropped about 20 movie trailers on us. At least. I'm going to run down the list. Okay. Halloween, Into the Spider-Verse, The Lego Movie 2, Bad Times at the El Royale, Operation Finale, Serenity, White Boy Rick, The Old Man and the Gun, Bumblebee, Widows, Suspiria, The Girl in the Spider's Web, A Star is Born, How to Train Your Dragon 3, and Wreck-It Ralph 2. Wow. That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful. Are you guys ready to rank our top five for the week? Yes. Yeah. All right, per uh, <laughs> Perry, we're going to start with you. Okay. Give us your number five first. All right. So this is going to shock a lot of people. My number five is where Halloween landed. Whoa. I love what I saw in that trailer, specifically about Jamie Lee Curtis going up against Michael Myers, but it was a tease to a much bigger promotional campaign. Mm. Wasn't on my list. You? Wasn't It was on my list. Where? Do I want to give it? It's at number four. Oh, Halloween okay. Skip landed ahead at to four. four. It's okay. It, what's that? It, it, was on, it was your four. All right. It's at my number four uh, for all, the most of the same reasons that Perry mentioned. I love the angle. I want to see more, It, but it got me. I'm excited. My number five is the old man and the mm. gun that shocked the hell out of me robert redford looks like he's never left he's not retiring i love what he's doing here sissy spacek as well i'm glad to see her back was, this is great was that movie not on, on your list, list. It, it was number three on my list old nice. man and the gun my number three my number five bumblebee wow I, you know all, all my movies are, are pretty wow. like hardcore dramas but bumblebee was the big sort of fun trailer that i love this week yeah uh number four I had Bumblebee at, at number, number four, at number four okay. and it's going to shock everyone because everyone knows that I pick on Roku with Transformers all the time, but Bumblebee, that captured the magic of it seeing really a Transformers surprised. for the first time. I loved it. Was really that on your list? Record. It wasn't on my list, but I will give it an honorable mention, which is shocking because I hate the Michael Bay <laughs> movies, but this is the way you do a Transformers movie, a boy and his dog angle. It did bring a slight tear to my eyes. I think we're onto something here and they, they could very well reboot the universe through this movie. My number four was Operation Finale with Oscar Isaac and Ben Kingsley. That just looks like a great Nazi hunting uh, drama. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there, there's thriller aspects to it. I can't wait to see uh, Oscar Isaac sink his teeth into a juicy role like that. Like I said, my number three was The Old Man and the Gun. What's your number three, Perry? My number three is uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2. Ralph breaks the internet. I love that concept. And really, the reason why that trailer is at number three on my list primarily the princess scene. Mm, yeah, <laughs> that's, a, scene. that's a great scene. Didn't make my list, though, unfortunately. I love the trailer, but there are better trailers for me, at least. We'll get to that So scene. what was your number three? My number three, How to Train Your Dragon, mm, Hidden World. It brought tears to my eyes immediately. I love the series, especially the callback to the first movie. I love they're expanding the mythology. This looks just fantastic. Love the music. Can't wait for that. I've never even seen that one. All right, number two, I had Widows, Steve McQueen's Widows with Viola Davis, it, and just an amazing cast. Yeah. I can't wait to see these women kicking ass on the big screen. Steve McQueen doing something a little bit more commercial sounds like a lot of fun. Looks really good. Not on my list. Yep. My number two is The Girl in the Spider's Web, basically because it was the biggest surprise. I didn't think I cared about that movie at all. That trailer sucked me in so quickly because it uses the brilliant format of letting a scene breathe to start. Mm. Your number two, Riley? My number two. Bad Times at the El Royale. This is one of the, I, I toyed with making it my favorite, but I'm not. I'll get to that in a second. This looks phenomenal. Drew Goddard, I loved Cabin in the Woods. So to see him use this cast, this cast looks amazing. I'm all in for this trailer. It was a great trailer. Was it your number and one, that Perry? that right there is my number I'm one. I'm guessing it. I, I had it. to put it at my number one because that was another one that I wasn't really looking at all that much. And then that trailer dropped and I was just like surging with energy and excitement. So I give my number one to that. Mm. Your number one, Riley? My number one is Spider-Man Into Ooh. the Spider-Verse. I'm sorry. I, I, As much as you know me as a Superman fan, my number two has always been Spidey. And for this, the animation, the direction, oh the God. use of music, it shocked the hell out of me. I love the mentor, the old mentor of Peter Parker coming in and giving Miles Morales uh, his own movie. This could be the start of something amazing. And it is the animation that is just off the charts for me. I cannot wait for this movie. Well, I know I'm supposed to be a real guy's guy around here, but yeah. my number one is A Star is Born. That's right. It's a good trailer. I'm, I'm a, a, I'm a trailer. Gaga fan. I can't wait to see Lady Gaga singing this. I think Bradley Cooper it looks like he knocked it out of the park for his uh, directorial debut. So that's those are our top fives. Poor Suspiria missing out. Well, for the record, even though we had a pick five, 
this was a great unbelievable. Week unbelievable. Trailer. Yeah, that it, Serenity absolutely. trailer I, I liked a lot. So White Boy I Rick liked too. That too. I, I liked all these There's trailers. Stars Born. I Did thought was one of the best. Did anything look terrible? And just before we end, no. Everything was. I mean, I think it's one of the best week for right. trailers well, that we've seen in a long Hollywood, time. Hollywood, you're doing a great job. At least your marketing departments are. We'll see if any of these movies are actually good when they come out. Uh, for Collider News, Mark Riley, Perry Nemiroff. I'm Jeff Snyder. Stay tuned. 